traffic, looking for my chapstick, feeling kind of car sick. There's a Ford Maverick. Hey, hot doggers. So this is it. This is the moment of truth. As a hot dog vendor, I feel it's it's my responsibility, it's my obligation, it's my purpose in life to do what I'm about to do. I'm at Portillo's. Portillo's is one of the most touted hot dog joints in Indianapolis. It's not even in, 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 in Indianapolis, it's in Fishers, Indiana, which is north of Indianapolis. But it's the most touted hot dog joint. Everybody says it's the best hot dog. Of course, I'm a little biased, I disagree. But, we're going to try them out. I got a chili cheese dog. And I got what they call an Italian beef. Which is basically like an Italian sub, I'm assuming. It's got Italian beef, uh, Italian beef on it. Kind of like a steak and cheese type of deal, but beef. Yeah, I don't know. But... We're gonna try them out. We're gonna try them out, and I'm gonna let you know if Portillo's is in fact the best hot dog in Indianapolis. I can tell you right now, it's not the best hot dog in Indianapolis. I know who the best hot dog in Indianapolis is, because I make it. But I'll tell you if, they get, if they're giving me a run for my money. Now you got to keep in mind though, there's different categories of hot dogs, right? So they charge a little over four bucks after taxes, about four fifty after taxes for a regular size hot dog. Uh, regular size chili cheese dog is about four fifty. There's different categories of hot dogs in that just like there's different categories of coffee right you got your your gas station I'm looking for some cheap coffee to, to wake me up in the morning a dollar fifty a cup of coffee and then you have your Starbucks you're gonna pay half your paycheck just for a minty white chocolate mocha coffee this is the Starbucks of hot dogs. Thank you. So this is the Starbucks of hot dogs. And if you've ever been to a Chick-fil-A, their drive through setup is modeled after Chick-fil-A. They've got people out there that are actually taking your order. So you're not talking to a speaker. They take your order, they take your payment all right there when you order. There's people out there walking up and down the up and down the line, um, doing everything right then and right then and there. So you don't have to worry about talking to a speaker or miscommunication or anything like that. So Portillo's, good job on, on the drive-through experience. Modeling after Chick-fil-A, they've got the best, best, most convenient, most efficient drive-through in the country. So good job on modeling after this. Now let's try the food. This, these are their french fries. Kind of look like your typical everyday, I guess, uh, bag french fries. It tastes like Tyson crispy fries. 
nothing special. A lot of salt. I'm not a huge fan of salt. I don't like salt. But, I didn't come here for the fries. They're all right. Nothing special. That's not what I came for. Abundance of napkins, that's good when you're dishing out chili cheese dogs. Abundance of napkins are a good thing. I got the root beer to cap it all off. Here we go. Here we go. A little messy in the wrapping. Kind of feel like a uh, hard cover would be better, like a hard plastic thing. Oh, that's the that's the uh, Italian beef thing. It's not the hot dog. And it's not the hot dog. It's the Italian beef thing. It's got a beef and sweet onions. And we're gonna hold off on that. I just came for the wiener. That's, that, that should be my next t-shirt. I just came for the wiener. Let's try this. This should be the hot dog. This should be the wiener. Oh, nope, I lied. That was the wiener, the other one. This is the Italian beef thing. So confusing, I didn't even see a hot dog in there. What? Let me see this. this is a big sandwich. 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 This is the Italian beef thing in the chair. Look at that. That's the Italian beef with sweet onions. Kind of like a steak and cheese. Got mozzarella cheese on there. So this is the hot dog. Something else, man. Something else. This is the chili cheese dog, man. I was wrong. This is the chili cheese dog. They got your regular old paper, paper hot dog thing on it. Hot dog tray. It's so soggy. Poppy seed bun. There it is. That's the hot dog down there. Okay. So we'll try it out. Mm. There was a snap. I got that famous snap that you look for when you bite into a hot dog. That snap was there. However, there's not much taste to the chili. Chili's pretty bland. Hardly any cheese on it whatsoever. And if you look at it, that's just a regular hot dog, regular size hot dog. It's not even the quarter pounder. Not even the quarter pounder. Regular eight to one hot dog with bland chili. I don't know. What's my verdict? The hot dog itself, the snap. The snap was there. It was an okay hot dog. It had good flavor. Chili had no flavor. 
There was hardly any cheese on it whatsoever. It did have onions on it. I could taste the onions. Poppy seed bun was good. So really just the poppy seed bun and the actual hot dog itself were the only good things about it. The chili had no flavor. There was hardly any cheese on it. And the fact that it was $4.50 for a regular 8 to 1 hot dog where I charge $4.50 for a jumbo, which is a quarter pound hot dog, a quarter pounder. Imagine a quarter pounder with cheese in the shape of a hot dog. That's what I charge $4.50 for, and these people are charging $4.50 for, for, a, for a, 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 a junior, junior cheeseburger. Silly. Silly. Way overpriced. Way overhyped. I haven't had the Italian thing yet. But as far as a hot dog goes, way overhyped. Didn't taste bad. But the chili had no taste. The cheese, non-existent. And $4.50 after taxes for just a hot dog. A regular 8 to 1 hot dog. It's not even a quarter pounder. Eh. Portillo's. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this is a letdown. This is a letdown. If you, if you want a hot dog, you want a good hot dog, come down to the Wild Beaver. Wild Beaver, Big Dance Dogs, hot dog cart right out front. Can't miss it. Best hot dog in Indianapolis.